The twisted irony of art imitating life strikes again. Former Power Rangers star Ricardo Medina confesses to cops he killed his roommate, Joshua Sutter. Medina tells Los Angeles Sheriff's deputies he did it with the kind of weapon he used on television, a samurai sword. The man who once played the Red Power Ranger says it started as an argument in the kitchen of the home they shared outside of Los Angeles. Medina claims he and his girlfriend retreated to his bedroom and locked the door behind them, but his enraged roommate on the attack kicked the door in. According to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, that's when Medina grabbed his razor-sharp samurai sword from his bedside and plunged the steel blade into Joshua Sutter's abdomen, killing the 36-year-old. Medina made the 911 call and was waiting in the driveway when sheriff's deputies arrived. Medina was arrested and charged with murder, but claims he was acting in self-defense. We've taken the position all along that this was never a crime. After investigating, law enforcement claimed the evidence shows Medina may have acted in self-defense, and the former Power Ranger is released pending further investigation. I want to say I'm very, very, very sorry for what occurred. He was not only defending himself, but a young lady who was an independent witness who observed the entire incident. I'm very happy to be out of jail and my heart goes out to the Sutter family. Joshua Sutter's family is outraged. His sister Rachel is not buying Medina's self-defense story. I think it was probably an, an instant thing where he just lost it. I think even just the simple act of maybe opening his door would have made him act out in a, in a terrible way. Joshua's family claims there are several inconsistencies in Medina's story and say this photo is just one of them. Notice the blood on the bedroom door. The family claims the same door Medina alleges was kicked in when his enraged roommate attacked him. And then comes the big shocker. The autopsy report reveals Joshua was stabbed multiple times. Joshua also suffered numerous defensive wounds on his arms and hands. He had 10 sharp force injuries when the initial reports that came out was he was stabbed once in the chest and it came out through his back. When the coroner's report came back, it was 10 times he listed them all as defensive wounds. His hands is where most of the, the stab wounds were. He was fighting for his life. Sutter's loved ones pressured law enforcement to keep investigating the case. He knew that we weren't gonna let this go. That pressure has paid off. In a complete shocker, police have re-arrested Ricardo Medina and this time charged the former TV star with murder. Ricardo Medina maintains his innocence and is due back in court in February. He faces up to 26 years to life in prison.